How does it feel to yeah. see Nia denying your chemistry? That was shocking. But, um, yeah, you know, obliging his interest. That <sighs> I think we should just let it breathe for a second, just to let it rest a second. All right, Shalonda, let me let you go first. And it's Shalonda, uh, yeah. Okay, so Naya was true to form. I mean, she did not break character. When it initially started, she smiled so big because that image came out and she was proud of who she saw. But quickly, her face got really tense and you could see that it was registering with her. Like, this is not cool. Like the image that you portrayed is not the representation that you thought that you were presenting at all. And she was so stuck with being that image that she could not shake it. Even though she could clearly see it, she got defensive and she held on strong. And I was so proud of her though. For one second when, when Tommy asked her like, What's up with that? Like you had guys and she was like, I was just talking stuff. And I was so happy with her for that one moment, but she gave it one moment and she went right back. She got right back in, in her little image mode and was like, I'm happy with my decisions. This is how it is. And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna be the top queen or whatever. And poor Chris, he just was so genuine, but he really, <laughs> he really dodged a bullet. So I hope he sees that. Mm, I hear that. Lex, your mic's already open, so I'm going to go to you. Lex, talk to me. What do you, what do you think? What do yeah. you think? Um, going off of what she said, yeah, um, she did kind of seem like she had a moment of clarity, but I'm a firm believer in what you say when you're mad and what you do when you're mad. That's really who you are. I mean, there's no... Oh, I was just mad. Oh, I was just talking. Like, no, that's who you are. Like, you have problems that you need to work out. And I don't know. I just feel like what she did was un inexcusable. And I do feel bad for Chris. <laughs> I feel mm. so bad for him. But um, I think he dodged a bullet. When you say inexcusable, what do you mean by inexcusable? What do you think she did that was inexcusable? Um, Just throwing, like, a an adult temper tantrum, like... I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's something you would do if, oh, it's not going my way. So what can I do to get under the closest person's skin? And, oh, I'm going to just say I have a boyfriend or I'm going to just say I didn't have any connections with anybody. I didn't like any of y'all. Um, just stuff like that. Just immaturity. Mm. <laughs> mm, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Mm, mm, mm. Melissa, I haven't heard from you. I haven't heard from you. Say something to me. Says, Talk to me. What are you saying? Okay. Talk to me. So I feel like with Naya, um, I like that um, what we actually saw on the show was who she really was because she never apologized for it. She stood in it and she's like, that's what I did. And she said, um, uh, what did she say? I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting something now. She said that she said what she said because she was upset in the moment and that's just what it was. And Although I do like people like that, it's like you're 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 making me see who you really are. Um, I feel like she was also very much hurt, and as a protect mm. a protective mechanism, she was like, "Let me just stand in it. I, I don't want to seem flaky. I don't want to seem weak. So let me just stand in what I did and who I am." And I believe that's what she did on the show, and mm. I somewhat respect her for it for not saying and um going back and saying oh i regret doing this and i regret doing that that's what that is what she did and she's i don't know if she's proud of it but she's giving off this this person this this persona that she's proud of it but i really don't think she is proud of it she's just wanting to stick in it because of probably ego and yeah uh, a couple of weeks back. i mean maybe for a slight second because it was nice that she actually admitted i was just mad or something crazy but I don't know where she goes from here because to me it's like when you see someone you act in that way. She's not a child, but to lash out just in anger over stupid things. Because didn't she say something dumb? I think in that clip about how she wasn't she was attracted. She was entertaining Chris, and she wasn't even really attracted to Edwin. But they're apparently meant to be seeing each other now. Edwin, good luck. Mm. I wish you the best, girl. 
but yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would look as someone, if I was a man looking at that, a mature man, I just what I would run because in a relationship, you're going to disagree. So what is she going to do when we disagree in that relationship? Is she going to continue to cut me to reds and tell me all the things to hurt me just to, get, just to be ahead, just to be right? She doesn't want peace. She wants to be right. And at that age, if she doesn't acknowledge that to herself, she's going to continue to do that. Who wants to be that? I mean, there's so many big girls, right? She's someone who is so spiteful, petty, and mean, and has no insight. She can't self-reflect. Like, okay, I've seen a whole season of myself. And I, I mean, okay, it's good that you didn't back but there's no reflection or understanding of what you did or how you looked. You're still mm -hmm. talking crazy. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Like, Edwin, you know, I'm still rolling for you. I wish you the best, but... Oof, okay. Mm, mm, mm. Let, me, let me roll my second clip before anyone else speaks, and then we'll get some more voices on this. My second clip here. And I wanted to talk with Chris like, baby... Um, we're good, but I think it kind of shook him as yeah. well because right after that, y'all had the conversation, and then here come me and this one hand in hand. Walk. So that was the scene where Naya was explaining as to why she felt a certain way and why she gave uh, KG the vibranium, and it was because obviously she felt like he was talking outside the realms of their relationship. So, Adjo, I haven't heard from you, Jakeni, I haven't heard from you, and, and uh, so I'll get your voice, and Shanae, I'll get you as well. So if I go to Adjo first, Adjo, talk to us. Okay. You know. <clears throat> Naya, Naya, Naya. Naya is a man-eater, okay? Mm. Naya is a ma Listen, did you see how he? she, she was looking at Edwin? Mm, like, mm. yeah, I got a new snack. Like, <laughs> she is a man-eater. <laughs> She's a manipulator, she is an opportunist and yes i did see a glimmer of like oh okay that that didn't look right but really because this is her mo she stood firm in it she stood firm in it because she's like yeah you know yeah if the cameras weren't there she wouldn't have felt that way but the mm. fact that the cameras were there now she's like oh people are gonna know my game but that's mm. who she is because even at the end of it she said when Chris was talking about a woman finding her or whatever, finding him, she called him out and again, it was like, you need to do better. Let's do better. So she had never, that's just who she is. She, mm. she's a man eater. That's, 